Morning everybody, it is Remy with Dream Living Homestead. Now, um, my puppy decided to get out and she's gonna come join me. Huh, baby girl, hi. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be another garden tour, but I am in the midst of getting my breakfast ready because, yeah, I'm running behind as I usually am in the morning. So I made some homemade bread, which, I have been learning to actually make it and then stick it in the freezer for the week. So I make bread for the week and then I stick it in the freezer and I pull it out the night before. It's awesome. Um, anywho, so a few of the changes that I have made in the uh, garden is, uh, I've, I, I think I mentioned the last couple of times I've ripped out a bunch of stuff and I've replanted things and I want to show it to you. So first I'm going to show you the work. Um, garden, which is all the tomatoes um, that I have there, the squash, which I'm still having issues with. Uh, I've tried hand pollinating. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. If anybody has any suggestions, please leave a comment below. I'd really appreciate it. But the tomatoes are finally starting to turn color. Also, I have noticed that there is a bunch more tomatoes starting to form, so I'm excited. But uh, come take a look, guys. Here is my work place. And as you can see, all my tomato plants are looking really good. It has been roughly 91, 92 degrees every day. So I've been making sure to try and come out here every morning when I get here to water these. This is one of the plants I grew from seed. Now, I still don't remember what this is, but hopefully I'll be able to figure it out soon. I'm actually gonna move this plant this tomato plant, which I also grew from seed, over into one of those pots over there. That one actually in the front that I'm not using. But look how exciting this is. My watermelon is massive. Although, I just realized. No, that's good. It's not that heavy, but this one here is getting huge. And I do need to actually, yeah, I do need to, excuse me, uh, get this hung up on something so it doesn't weigh it down too much. Here are my San Marzanos, oops, San Marzanos, and you can see got a lot of flowers coming through, but not a whole lot more tomatoes, but we do have these which are actually turning, finally. And then we got the other one over there on the other side, I don't know if you can see it over there, still not turning. But this better bush is Producing a little bit more. We got another little baby here. Right there. And then those two are starting to kind of turn colors. Not too much though. Um, I have noticed these. Let me take this off. I don't know why these are getting diseased. I'm gonna have to clean them up a little bit. Here is one of the ones I brought from home. And the cool thing, excuse me, about this is we got these down here that are still growing. And we got another baby one coming through right there. How exciting. And then we got these two over here. And these are beautiful looking. I'm excited about these. But my leaves are looking gross. But the cool thing is, is all of this down here is brand new. So that's good. Keep, keep you posted on that. Here is, and this, I swear to God, this thing keeps falling over. Come on, do treat. Do try to keep this. Excuse me. Give me a second. I'm actually debating on pruning it way back. So I got this up here, but look at all that. But look, this is all new. All these new foliage. And a lot of foliage, but not a lot of production. But these are all new. I'm excited about that. We have some ants, but they're not too bad, so I'm gonna leave them alone for now. And then again, and everyone keeps telling me it's a pollination issue, but look at my squash. I'm getting a little frustrated. Or I'm wondering if I'm just not picking them. Are these supposed to be big? I don't know what kind of squash this is. If anybody can tell me, please leave a comment below. I would appreciate it. Because I did try to hand pollinate this and I still get the same result. See? It's kind of frustrating. So I'm wondering if I should pick them sooner. 
Like, look, this is a baby one. That's it. Sorry, guys. That's a baby one right there. So I'd really be interested in what everyone has to say. <sighs> and same thing here. Here's my green onions, which I've been watering. And I'm actually coming through um, here in the next couple of days. I'm going to cut the rest of these off and dehydrate everything. Good morning, guys. It is the following day. I didn't have a chance to get out here last night because uh, I didn't get home till late. Uh, to show you guys the other garden, so now I'm going to show you guys what we have on the balcony garden and some of the changes that we've made and what I've planted so far. So come take a look. I got a buddy following me. Anyways, um, I went ahead and took the ends off of some leeks that I made and buried them. I'm going to see if I can regrow them. This one actually is doing really well. So I got my rosemary, my arugula, my purple basil, which is doing well. Um, in this row here, I actually planted... Actually, I don't think I planted anything, but this row here, I planted uh, the raw, uh, bush beans. So, and as you can see, they're starting to sprout up really well. I probably planted them about a week ago. Um, this one started sprouting yesterday and I came home and it was already this big. I mean, I swear to God, it was probably, oops, excuse me, like this. And I come home last night and it's that. These are sunflower microgreens. I got a few coming through. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of small, but these are sunflower microgreens. Um, in this row, I'll probably put some kale and then I'll also put some Asian microgreens. Um, see how they do. And then I'm going to try my hand at some more basil because I, I really like my basil. She wants to chew on the thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, over here, I ripped out the cucumber. It just wasn't doing anything. So I'm debating on what I want to plant in this area. I'll have to think about it. Same thing with this. I pulled out the green bean that was in here, plant, but still don't know what I want to do with that. And I just realized something is chewing on my mint leaves. So I'm going to have to go digging into this right now. Uh, what in the world? I don't know what it is. I did have some aphids on I'm gonna have to cut this back. I did have some aphids on my broccoli plant, which I took care of. I wonder if they just tear their hands at this, but I don't see any on the back of this. My Fresno chili plant. They're still not turning, but they are getting big. My parsley and my Thai basil. And then here's my regular basil here. Now these are the uh, blue cherry, I believe is what they call it. Uh, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I planted these. Two of them have sprouted. I don't see the other twos have sprouted. Nope. So I got two of them. I'm excited about that. My zucchini plant, which still isn't producing anything. You can see, I think I do have a pollination issue. Um, I have a zucchini here, but nothing finally was able to pick one of my habaneros but the other three are still green and then my tabasco plant stop hey stop chewing on that no look at you this is not something for you to chew on she was chewing on the plant look at that stop chewing on it poor plant the other dog got in here the other day and got some too. Anyways, um, I do have some Tabasco right here. Peppers growing, which I'm excited about because I would love to learn how to make some Tabasco sauce. That is probably one of my favorite hot sauces out there. Here is my um, bell peppers. Now they have actually grown a little bit, not much, but they've grown. So hopefully they're not too shocked by me moving them at such a late stage and then check it out guys. Here is my jalapeno plant making a comeback. I'm excited about that. And then here is my broccoli plant. This is the one that was getting eaten by aphids, but I put a solution of um, water and, um, oh my gosh, water and soap and sprayed it all over this one night. And it seems to have done the trick. I've also been coming out here and picking off the bigger ones. Oop, found one found you, you little sucker. Look at him. 
been picking these bad boys off and throwing them off. I wish I had some uh, chickens, but I don't. Got you. Make sure. Yeah, no more. Okay. Okay, guys, so that is it. Now you forgive me, I am in the middle of making my lunch um, to go to work and have something to eat instead of buying stuff. Um, I tell you, there's a lot of temptation right around my place of business because there's so many good Asian restaurants around there. It's ridiculous. Um, and so every day I have to fight that temptation, especially because there was a guy that just opened up um, and it's a joke at our shop because I've been there for 15 years uh, that that particular corner is uh, just bad luck for any restaurant that opens, which we wouldn't wish that upon anyone, but I've probably seen about four or five restaurants go through that spot. So I'm hoping this place does well because it is Mexican and everyone here likes Mexican. Anyways, um, so those are the small changes that I've made. I have um, slowly but surely learned what would work well on the balcony over here and then also what is working well over uh, at work now my work does get a lot more sun I don't get it as much now we get a lot of sun here but the way my balcony is facing it doesn't get it as much because um, there's trees and the Sun we're not facing the right way we don't face south so um, other than that, uh, I'm excited. So, you know, we're going to add some more kale. We're going to add some more microgreens. Those seem to be doing well with shade, my basil, my herbs. Um, and I don't know if you saw this, but I'm excited. I'm actually slowly but surely adding herbs here. We've got kale. Actually, there's a, oh, there's a recipe uh, for kale chips that I want to try. It's with nutritional yeast. I may do a video on that. Somebody told me about it. It's supposed to taste delicious. And so I'm excited about that because I'd love to try that. Uh, kale, I've got mint, basil, uh, some peppers. I'm going to eventually fill that up. This is celery. Um, and then this is green onions. So I've dehydrated all of those. And then I've also filled this pantry up. And I'm going to do another uh, video of preserving. But downstairs, we have another pantry that my husband has put together in one of the closets downstairs. I've got shelves sitting down there. And we've already got some stuff down there that I had already had in the garage, but he's put them in there. Um, but I would like to fill those four shelves up. So I'll show you guys that on another video. Anyways, this is all I have for today. I appreciate you guys stopping by, uh, and we'll see you guys in a couple of days. Thanks so much. Have a great day.